Come and sit on the couch. couch. Now tell you. Shall I tell you about not your great granddad? This is his great no, wait, no, 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 about your great great granddad and he went to see you with a ship and then lots of people came to see him go away because it was going with a big propeller you know a propeller at the end and it sailed right out to sea and everybody cheering and that was a long time ago ever such a long time ago long 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 would you like to hear what happened to him? It was rather sad. He was very, very tired one night. He'd been working on this engine for all day long. And he went to bed to lie down to have a little rest before he started again. And he was so tired, he died. Now, wasn't that sad? And you know, they took him on shore and he was buried in a very, very famous churchyard right on the top of the hill beside the sea. And there was a great big castle there. It was called Elsinore. And a very famous man called Hamlet used to live there. And we used to see him every time we went to watch. Hamlet, yes, a big castle right on the top of the hill. And just beside the castle was where your great great grandfather was buried and years and years and years after your grandfather went to see the place and he'd never been able to go before and he went to see the place and he found it and it was 50 years you remember us counting 50 on our hands 10 20 30 40 50 that we did in bed this morning. Fifty years after, your grandfather went and we found it. It was there. And everybody knew that your great grandfather had been buried there. No, we found it. We one day. Yes. And then, another fifty years, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty years after, a cousin of yours went to see if the grave was still being looked after. And it was there then, and they saw his name written in the book in that church, that your great-grandfather had died and he'd at sea and he'd been buried there. It said it was a sea and he was buried there. And that was your great-grandfather. And he was a very, very good engineer. A very good engineer. What about my other one? Which one? Your other grandfather, well, that grandfather went to sea too, but he wasn't an engineer. He was the captain. He was on deck and on the bridge. And how did he die? Ah, oh, that was very, very sad. That was in one of the big wars. And you know, it was a torpedo from a submarine, from a German submarine that came through the water and it hit your grandfather's ship and everybody was drowned that time everybody and so i was very sad because your grandfather was my father and i hadn't got a daddy after that he didn't come home anymore that was a long time ago too wasn't it what happened to my grandmother what now which other one you know the grandmother your, your grandmother Oh, your grandmother was very, very nice. She lived a lot longer than your granddad. She was my mother. And she could knit and knit and knit. Oh, she was a beautiful knitter. You know those jerseys I made for you? Yes. She could knit lovely ones, just like those. How did she get there? And how did she die? Oh, she got old, darling. She just got old. And when people get very old, then they do die, don't they? They're too tired to go on living any longer. And so they die. And then they have a nice, long rest. What happened to my other one? Which other one now? Which other one can I say? <laughs> have you? You've got some more, of course, haven't you? Yeah. What's some more, grandmothers? 
and grandfathers. I'm almost forgetting. Shall I tell you about some of your uncles? Yeah. Hmm? I think it's You like about uncles, do you? Yeah. Well, you've got lots and lots of uncles. And some of those go to sea. They're captain. I, I know why Uncle Ken. Uncle Ken. And Uncle Ken. And I knew Uncle Ken when he was a little boy. Oh, when he was a tiny little boy, just like as tiny as Reuben is. Just as tiny as Reuben. And you know, I went to his second birthday party when he was two. And he sat in a high chair, just like Brian did, and he had a lovely hat on his head. And that was your Uncle Ken. <laughs> and he was a tiny little boy. He was a tiny little boy. But he had the most magnificent hat on his head. We chose the best of all the hats that day for Ken to wear. Because it was his birthday, wasn't it? Yes. And he came to my wedding. When I got married, a short time after that, Ken was a little boy. And his mommy brought him to my wedding. There you are. All those things you didn't know, did you? But you see, Uncle Ken is a man now, but he was once just a tiny little boy. And he had birthday parties and wore paper caps. You're not the grandfathers. <laughs> well, you see, I hadn't they died before I was little, because I can't tell you much about them. His other grandfathers. I, uh, you see, I didn't meet them. You'd have to ask your daddy about your other grandfathers. I can only tell you about some of them, can't I? Do you like to hear about grandfathers? There he is. Daddy, I about my other grandfathers. Oh, yes. my goodness. I can only tell him about oh. some grandfathers. Would you enjoy Yes. Now you know all about your grandfathers. Now, what was your great, great, great grandfather's name? Ask Annie Kitty what your great, great, great grandfather's name was. They called the him engineer. He was an engineer, and they called him William Claiborne. That's a funny And he's the one who got died. That's yes, that's the <laughs> one who died. In that big castle. Yes, he's buried beside that big castle. He got all the tired, and then he got dead. Yes, and then... Then you then what about your great great grandfather? Now, he went to sea too. Yes. And what happened to him? Oh. You don't remember? Ah, remember that was the, the was that was his grandfather. Great his great, great grandfather. grandfather. What happened to that torpedo that the German submarine sent? Yes. That was a shame, wasn't it? Yes, thank you, Chef. And you know, there was another uncle of yours who was a captain to sea. And a torpedo hit his ship too. But it was fine weather, nice and smooth. And he saw it coming. And so they all got off that ship safe in three minutes. In three minutes, they were all off that ship in the boat. Who was that? That's Uncle Will. Uncle Will? Yes, off Flamborough Head. Off Flamborough Head in the 1418 War. It was very quick going, but the weather was fine. And of course they had the ships hung out, the boats hung out, you see. And within three minutes, they were all off and went into Bridlington. But the ship went, of course. Couldn't save the ship. Of course, your uh, great-grandfather's name is on a monument in London. Yes, it is. It's on a monument in London to say that he fought Bravely and with lots of years there, um, I found him. He, uh, Audrey was the first who found him. Yes, she made a special journey up there just after it was opened, and it took quite a lot of scanning, and she found it. She was a sweet child. She went to the... Um, she never knew him. Of course, I never. Know. He died. What, what, what's his grandfather's name? He was another William <laughs> Claiborne. Another William Claiborne? Yes. Well, that's kind of tough. Now, we've got a William, haven't we? Yes. Who is our William? Mommy, 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 Mommy. Brian. Brian. Yes. Brian. 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 Yes. He's carrying on the old name. Okay. Is William Clayman's gone for generations through. Hmm? 
No, yours is well, they don't have any young ones like us, have they? Oh, uh, yes, they yes, yes, but uh, Woodsaver, he has only one daughter. Uh, but I don't know whether, I couldn't say for certain whether any of them had any daughter. He had only one daughter. <laughs> but there was another time, Uncle Will's ship, just after he'd lost that one, of course he was promptly given oh, another no, to take to sea. And it ran over a submerged wreck that had been torpedoed just a short time before, and the patrol vessels should have buoyed it. But they'd had to check the fact that they would better take the crew to land. They were wounded. And my brother, there's their uncle, came over and he sailed over this. And believe me, it cut over the bottom of that ship like um, a tin opener. And she was light. And the ballast tops held, and he he had to come back off her. He got off her, and he waited there till another ship of the firm came along. He didn't want to be salvaged because that was great loss to the firm. And uh, he, he sailed over to Sunderland and put her in dry dock. And I happened to come home just after that. And I went, he took me down to the bottom of the dry dock, and you wouldn't believe it. It was just like a tin opener had gone right through. But the ballast tops no. held. Wouldn't have happened if the weather had been bad. It wouldn't have held. It wouldn't have stood the strain. Now what are you going to have? There you are. Oh, there's this, um, what is it coming on?